Hello there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I hope you're having a great week. Today's uh, tip is about electrical connections. And um, I'm going to, uh, going to throw in a little bonus here for you. Uh, it is Thanksgiving week, so uh, I am thankful for all of you who are watching and faithfully uh, uh, giving me encouragement. Appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to give you the bonus. Uh, to start off with, I am going to show you uh, just quickly electrical connections. Um, if you don't know this already, you can actually grab these electrical connections. They are, um, at the basics of it, a spline, um, a, CAD, a CAD line that uh, doesn't have a specific shape or size. You can grab this. Uh, electrical connection and move it around and make it not quite so, you know, goofy um, and really in the way of, of all the rest of your drawing. You can also grab these and you can, you can give these uh, additional breakpoints. So I'm going to hit the number three key on my keyboard. You could uh, use the uh, break tool, break line tool down here, but as I hover over it, you'll notice that I'm using, that it, um, gives that three in the brackets. That's the tool, that's the tip, tool tip for the keyboard shortcut. So th number three on my keyboard adds another break and see I can grab another, I, that created another uh, break point that I can actually form and shape this kind of where I want it. Um, I'm going to move this uh, outlet over here and it'll be out of my way. That way I can pull my switches over and add one more switch. And this is really the main part of my tip. I'm going to add another switch here. There we go. Now this fan light combo in the bathroom is a single light, a single electrical fixture. So it can only have one connection um, to it as, a, as an electrical connection. If I drag another connection to it, that's going to create two three-way switches going to that, and that's not really what I want. So I'm going to delete that. Um, so here's, here's what I do. I draw one connection to it, and that goes to the fan part of it. Now I'm going to draw a, an arc. So I hit E on my keyboard. Um, by the way, I'm still using my Mac uh, desktop computer if you're on the PC it's still the same E. Um, so E is the arcs. I'm going to go into my current CAD layer. You could do that with the tool here or in the CAD menu current CAD layer. And again I'm going to hit E on my keyboard to jump to the E layers and electrical connections is the layer that I want to draw on. So I click OK. Now I'm going to go here from the switch to the light, and I'm going to hold down my command key so I can temporarily um, override the angle snaps and just drop it next to the light. Now this is why it, the electrical connections are a spline. So instead of the arc, I'm going to delete this and we'll go with a spline. Again, I'm going to draw the line, the first segment, and hold down my command key to disable angle snaps. And then I'm going to draw it like that. Now, the beauty of the spline is it's going to kind of create an arc um, shape that, that works, that doesn't look like it's got an actual um, break in the line. It just works really nicely. And, and I've drawn it on the electrical uh, connections layer, so it's got all the right properties, color, line type, line width, um, and viewing on uh, the appropriate sets, layer sets. So there you go. You can draw arcs, you can draw splines. Um, I draw it, again, the tip is draw it on the electrical connections layer. Then we'll just uh, go back and continue our electrical connections for the other rooms. Now, um, the other tip I wanted to show you is I'd been drawing um, CAD layers 
or, or CAD rectangles for my um, laundry hookups. And it, it dawned on me the other day, I can actually just draw a wall niche. Drop it in there. Give it your the right size. We'll call it uh, 12 by 12. And we want it, uh, say, 48 inches off the floor to the bottom. Actually, um, let's go 54 to the top. Center that on the washing machine. And look at that. You've got a beautiful laundry hookup, both in 3D and in plan. And again, that's going to show across all layers in the appropriate uh, layer sets. Uh, so hey, I hope this has been helpful to you. If, if uh, you've learned something or uh, like what I shared today, please leave an encouragement. Drop a thumbs up down there. As always, uh, subscribe, and you'll get to see these videos each week as I release them uh, on Tech Tip Tuesday. I hope uh, you have a great week. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Take care.